Imagine the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was right next to you as you are sick and going through the pains of illness and sickness. What would he have said to you? This is what he would have said. Listen, this is the hadith of Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu. He said, when the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would visit the sick people, he would say, la ba's, meaning no worries, no problem. La ba's alayk, take it easy. It's all right, no problems. Allahu Akbar. This is the words of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to a sick person. So I want you to imagine these words while you are sick. This is what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would have said to you if you were laying there in your bed sick. He would have said, as he said to everyone he visited who was sick, La ba's alayk. No problems, no worries, calm down, relax. La ba's. And then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would say, Tahoorun insha'Allah. This is a purification. Bi'ithnillah. This sickness or whatever you're going through of illness, think positive about it. This is a purification. It is cleansing your sins. It is cleansing your mistakes, your errors, your minor sins, your major sins. It's cleansing. Subhanallah. Let me tell you something. If you want to fight this positive thought, and you insist on thinking negatively, look what happens, watch what happens. So when Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one day he visited a Bedouin, Arabi, that was sick, a Bedouin. When Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as usual, when he visits a sick person, he says to him, Habas, no problems. Bahurun insha'Allah, your sickness, bi'ithnillah, is a purification for your sins. So this Bedouin didn't want to accept what Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said of positive words. He insisted on being negative. So watch what happens, watch. This Arab, and this hadith is in Sahih al-Bukhari. This Bedouin, he said to Rasulullah, Bahur, he questioned him, how is my sickness a purification? So this Bedouin said, Kalla, no, not at all. This is not a purification. Bal hiya humma tafur. I have a fever, and this fever tafur. My body has become hot. It's apparent. I'm sweating. I am hot. I am sweating. I am sick. It's difficult. And I'm an old man. And this fever is going to get the better of me until I am carried to my grief. Allahu Akbar. The better one is rejecting Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's words and he's insisting to think negative and he's saying that this is a fever that's going to bring the end of me and it's going to lead me to my grief and it's going to be the cause of my death. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, فَنَعَمْ إِذَنْ Angrily, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, So be it. Okay, خلاص. If that's what you're thinking, then that's going to be the case. Allahu Akbar. This man opposed Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Did not want to think positively. He wanted to think negatively. He stressed himself out excessively. And you know what happened? The next day, this man had passed away and he died. Subhanallah. What we learn from this authentic hadith is that when you are sick or diagnosed with a chronic illness or a mental illness, whatever it is of a disease, we must think positively. Think of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's words, لا بأس طهور إن شاء الله. And don't think negatively. Stressing yourself out excessively means to think negatively.